naked to homosexual. I've never thought I would be punished of a lot of the things because I refuse to sleep with another. It is what it is. God delivered me from homosexual. And I have a right to open up and say, God deliver me. You don't know me. You don't know Andrew Caldwell from being in a club, dropping it like it's hot, sucking, humping, orgies. You don't know me from that. You know me from being at the altar. And you decided to laugh and make fun of me and try to make a mockery of me. But guess what? God just opened up plenty of doors. I can't wait. To, you know my rest of my um, store getting ready to open next week. Come on and give God some praise. Thank you, Jesus. I could have been out of the say. Oh, I could have had AIDS and HIVs. But thanks be unto God, I don't have that. You know, being in that lifestyle, there's many neoshataya. There's many diseases that you can catch. Oh, yes, I'm not saying all got it, but there is many diseases that you can catch. And I remember when I was homeless, I got a right to tell my testimony on my life. You ain't going to make me sin. God created Adam and Eve and not Adam and Steve. He didn't create Kim and Kim. He didn't create Mike and Mike. That's my testimony. And surely you won't take it away. How about city? It a Messiah. Glory be to God. Hey, and that's the reason. Hold on, I didn't hit that note. That's the reason why I praise him. I didn't mean to come on her and I didn't mean to come on her like a madman, but when I begin to think of the goodness of Jesus and all they done for me, don't judge my family just, just because I might have a, a little flamboyant, but at the end of the day, I haven't touched. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I haven't touched at all. No desire at all. Say, at all. Come on and give God some praise. I don't got no baby oil over here. I don't need no condoms over here. I don't need to make Johnson and Johnson and Johnson and Johnson and Johnson and Johnson family rich. No, 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 no. But that's the reason why I praise him. That's the reason why. That, and, and, and some of y'all ain't going to like me. So I know I got some fools in the comments talking crazy. But guess what? You're not my friend. You're not meant to be my friend. Because the Bible say, come out from amongst them. Now, there are some few on here. We might be friends. There are some few on here. We got connection. Because when the saints get together, everybody on her ain't a saint. And everybody on her ain't going to heaven. And everybody on her ain't going to hell. Be re Be clear. The Bible say, come out from amongst them and be ye separate, said the Lord. Present your body a living sacrifice. That's my testimony. And I'm going to say it for the every day, all day. Come out from amongst them and be ye separate, said the Lord. Present your body a living sacrifice. You said, why are you doing all that yelling? It, don't take, it does take all that. I'm going to wake you and that demon up. How about say? So I, I just said, I said, they're going to say, why are you doing all He just said, why are you all that screaming? Because I have a reason to praise God. I got a reason to, I'm both saying, to open up my mouth. There's a lot of people in the hospital that wish they can lift up their hands. They wish they can dance. They wish, oh, there's somebody that's in the hospital. I'm not I'm not see. They in the hospital right now and they wish they can have the most city go to the baba see a babo say. And I got a reason to praise God. Another old see a ba see. I'm still full from earlier, so y'all gonna have to excuse me. I ain't gonna apologize because this is what I do. I got a reason to magnify the Lord. Somebody, that's a young person right now getting shot. How about see? There's another person right now that's getting ready to die because God has already promised them life, but they don't know when their expiration, but the doctor gave them a couple of days to live. And I'm going to magnify his name at 31 years old. I got every right. I keep hearing that I'm 43. I keep hearing that I'm 50. I take the joke, but let me tell you something. If I live to see 43, I thank God. And there's an Abasi. And then I heard there's some people on here that make fun of my tongues. You wish you had the power that I got. You wish you had the same Holy Ghost that I have. But if you live right and pray and fast and seek God, surely you will get the same gift. You will get the evidence. Somebody say the evidence. 
You will have the power to resist the devil. Somebody say, well, Brother Andrew Caldwell, you delivered from homosexual. How do you how, how can you have the Holy Ghost first? The Holy Ghost only come into a clean temple. The Holy Ghost does not come into a dirty temple. You cannot be out here sleeping, humping, uh, doing ungodly things, doing devilish things and talking about you saved. That's not the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost only dwell in a temple, a clean temple. I said dwell. He only he only comes in into a clean soul. The Holy Ghost does not work until your temple is being filthy. You smoking and drinking and the music come on and you start dancing. That's not the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost only comes into a glad heart. He only comes into a clean temple. Come on and give God some praise. Some of y'all wondering when is your blessing? Your blessing is coming when you come out from amongst them. And be ye separate, said the Lord. Present your body a living sacrifice. It's just like, like the woman, the woman who had the issue of blood. And she began to press her way through the crowd. See, folks begin to loud her and, and folks begin to look at her up and down. And she didn't let, she didn't, she didn't get that. To stop her. She didn't get off focus on that. Because she began to press. Her way through the crowd. She began to pray her way through the crowd. And sooner or later. God began to deliver her. The bleeding stop. And that's not my only favorite scripture. That's in there. So for those that's in here laughing the next seven days, your feet gonna hurt. Because I know my feet hurt. <laughs> but you know, I used to sit up in church and laugh at people when they used to speak in tongues. And I used to laugh at people the way they used to pray because I, I, I felt that that's not for me. I used to laugh at people that didn't have the power, but I learned that you don't have to suck. You don't have to eat. I should not see man and woman, uh, uh, a man and woman, a man up her beating women. I should not see that. And and I used to laugh because I used to be messy. And I learned that I didn't have no blessings. Mm. I learned that, uh, that those, you know, I, I used to sit up in church and laugh at people because I had no power. I had no money. I had no favor. So I would laugh at others because I'm trying to figure it out. But those that are laughing, that's why you are in between blessings after blessings now. You got you can't laugh because because I speak in tongues and because I got the power. Because the devil, the I bind every witch and every woodlock that might be on this page. Now you gone now. Saints of God, behave yourself in this on this live. This ain't comedy. You will find yourself, you will find yourself at the hospital. There's a lot of people that, that lie that lied and, and laughed on me last year. Some of them ain't alive right now. You better give God some praise. You better stop laughing at God's people. Girl, let me laugh. This foolishness. And you don't even go to church. Mm. You sitting around playing with voodoo. It's going to backfire on you. 20 times fooling with me. I didn't mean to come on here like a madman. But I give God all the praise. And I will be back later today too. We're going to give God some more praise. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. And, and, and he is. Because you don't know me. If you don't like the way I praise God, unfollow. Because I'm a re every chance that I get, I'm going to rebuke you. That's why people love me now. Because I'm real. I don't. I will not let you. If you come to St. Louis, you won't play in Andrew Caldwell's face. <laughs> you won't play in this face. You won't play in my face. You might be, oh, I'm going to play in his face. Uh-huh. Baby, let me tell you something. I see that spirit five days a week. I see that spirit when you even come walking through the door. I'm going to look at you in the church. Then some of y'all, I'll be finding y'all coming to my church. Think you're going to come down there and talk to me. What conversation do you need? And then you come down there. You're looking at all bombish lifestyle. You better get that. You better get that witch in that well lock away from me before we cast the devil out of you. I don't let everybody in my face. I don't smile at everybody. I don't let everybody shake my hand because the Bible say, come out from amongst them and be ye separate, said the Lord. I can't call myself saved and sanctified and I'm fooling around with witches and wedlocks. And, and I can't find my, I, can, I can't be, and those that say I'm judgmental, that's not judgmental. If God delivered me from homosexual, why in the heck I'm sitting around, hanging around with homosexuals? I can't do that. And that's what's wrong with the saints. 
If God deliver you from something, that means the Bible say, come out. I didn't say it. You can't punish me for that. The Bible say, and every chance that I get on this live, I'm going to tell you that God delivered me. I got a right to reason to praise God. And then I both say, you better come out from amongst them. I'm speaking to somebody. I truly hope that out of these 10 years, I hope uh, some woman or some young boy say, I'm going to live right. I don't want to live in that lifestyle no more because I don't want my name or my ministry to be in vain. And that's the reason why I go live. And I encourage you guys. Y'all heard me? That's why. And that's one of the reasons why I act the way that I am. Because I love Jesus. Some of y'all on her hate God. Oh, yes. I know that for a fact. Some of y'all on her won't even knock, baby. You will never. You will never. Why? You, let me tell you something. Why you. I got to cover my location. Why you are on this earth. You would never...